Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I'm stoked to see you. So today I'm going to tell you why you're wasting your 550 cord, why you need to stop using it, and I'm going to put an alternative in your kit bag the next time you move out to the wilderness and you want to do some survival or bushcraft uh, pro type projects, right? So that's what this channel is all about. So you already know what to do, man. Subscribe, click the notification bell, that we can stay up to date on some dadgum future content. So 550 cord, aka paracord, man. This stuff is world famous, right? And the military has done that. Its primary principal use has been uh, in parachute rigging, which is how it gets the name five fit, or paracord. And it has a tensile strength or breaking strength of 550 pounds, right? That's how it gets the name 550 cord. And while it is super abundant, right? It is very strong and it's for the most part lightweight. It's not the most cost effective tool that you can put in your kit bag. So the same way as I wouldn't use repelling rope to make a tripod lashing, I'm not gonna use 550 cord. You don't need to use 550 cord. Now on that note, man, listen to me friends. I love 550 cord. This thing is awesome. I have a ton of it. I have spools of this stuff, but is it really the right tool for the right job? And ultimately when we think about being resilient and when we think about being able to overcome uh, obstacles that uh, come into us we need to think about that right I'm not going to use a chainsaw if I'm doing some cabinet making it's the wrong tool can it can I yes I mean you can uh, you know carve out daggum bears out of these trees I mean for crying out loud but that doesn't mean it's the right tool for the right job so for many of us and I think for most of our projects whether we're talking about uh, any type of, of tripod right lashings especially maybe for a fire tripod we'll, we'll build one here in a minute maybe i want to work on some chairs uh anything that that's more uh non-load bearing and when i say non-load bearing i mean your butt is not 30 40 feet up in the air and your life is not dependent on the project that's being done if that's not the case if you're just trying to make a a, a field expedient backpack frame right if you, if you are trying to make a a, pot, a tripod, a bench, a seat, any sort of, of, of camp projects, 550 cord is not the best tool. The best tool is probably bank line. Now bank line has its name from being used on the banks of rivers and lakes and being used for rigging of fishing lines and trout lines and things of this nature. The most popular one is probably the number 36 bank line. And that is going to have a breaking strength of around 300. This is 18. I'm going to tell you why and show you why this is probably the one that you want to put in your kit bag. So uh, there, I'll, I'll say this on the front end, and I'll put some more information down in the description below, as well as how to find uh, some of this, some of this, these cordage options, as well as if you're looking for a Stoke shirt, uh, you can look down in the description below as well, or you know, find me on Teespring or Amazon. So uh, bank line is primarily going to become waxed right uh, although there's also non wax versions there are braided versions and there are twisted versions this particular uh, run is one pound of uh, twisted number 18 and so its breaking strength is allegedly around 180 pounds I'm going to show you why that's probably more than what you think it is even though it's drastically less than 550 so whereas uh, 550 cord, and there's way more expensive types of 550 cord out there as well, some survival quarters and stuff. You know, you have your inner lines. You know, this just does th have three strands of uh, smaller waxed uh, bank line that's twisted together. In the case of braided, it's braided together. The, I want to say the, the breaking strength of each one is, is pretty close. It's pretty similar. So 180-ish pounds, 170 pounds, whatever the case that it is, how much is it? We're going to put some to the test real quick, and then we're going to build a couple projects, and I'm going to show you why you can trust the stuff. I see a lot of other folks out there telling you that you can trust and you, that you should use uh, some bank line, but they never really show you how or why it's, a, it's an actual positive uh, option for you to use. Now, this is a pound, and I can't remember how many feet it is. Again, I'll... I'll, I'll Put something up in here uh, to backwards track on some of this stuff um, but it's a lot it's a lot and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut uh, 20 feet ish of this stuff right and I'm using a uh, highly calibrated measuring tool right so that's 6 12 18 we're gonna call that 20 
Now, I'm going to for to show you why one of the reasons why this is a really good option. Uh, I'm going to record this up real quick. And I'm going to show you because this uh, little spool of 550 cord so super lightweight and not near as much space. So when you talk about being uh, light or ultra light, when you start talking about uh, I could I could probably carry 500 feet is going to take up as much room, you know, well, maybe not 500, but a, 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 a buck ton. And that, that that's a that's another official actual measuring term is a buck ton of bank line is going to be the same space, the same weight as 550 cord. So super light, super effective because it is wax. It will shed water, whereas your 550 cord will absorb water. Um, that being said, is, is one going to stretch more than another? Man, they're both going to stretch. Uh, that's a mosquito. I don't want none of that. He don't want none of this either unless he's trying to get stoked. Uh, so let's put this to the first initial test. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to tie this around uh, this dug fur behind me. And I'm going to pull on it as hard as I can and see if I can get it to break. Right, so that's not, you know, a, an official strength test. But I'm pulling on it pretty dadgum hard, and it's supporting my weight, right? I'm getting all I could got. It was stressing a little bit. I could hear it pinging and getting tight, but it was not collapsing on me. So the question is going to be, can I trust all of my weight on this? And I'm going to show you how and why you can. So we're going to set up a tripod lashing, and I'm, I'm going to hang from it. Come on. Right, and so we're gonna see if this tripod that's lashed together using number 18 twisted bank line can support my weight. I'd say that's strong enough. What do you think? All right, team, there you go, man. I hope that shows you that there's some alternative choices out there that are economical, that are practical, that are reliable, that you can use the next time you go out and you're trying to work on some bushcraft or survival projects. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about what cordage that you use and if the number 18 or if you want to go up to the 36 uh, bank line is something that you want to add in to not necessarily replace but to complement 
550 cord. Until then, man, I appreciate you guys. You stay out there and you stay stoked.